How do you wake up excited every day? Something that I've learned throughout life is that when you wake up in the morning and you feel positive, ready to attack the day and feel successful and you feel this rush of energy and endorphins, it's amazing. It's a great feeling. Remember when you'd set up your outfit the night before school, the first day of school, and you're all excited for the next day, that first day, that rush? Why don't we live like that every single day? How awesome would it be to wake up every day and you're buzzing, you're so excited every day, every day. Why is that when we get older, we lose this. Personally, for me, I found it hard some days where you wake up in the morning and you just kind of feel groggy. You don't feel excited. You might have things to do. You might have responsibilities. But you're not rushing to get up to go to that class. You're not rushing to get up to go sit at your desk. You're not rushing to get up to go to the gym. But how do you trick your brain in order to wake up excited, ready to attack the day? Something that's always helped me is planning the night before, knowing what you're gonna do the second you wake up in the morning and knowing like, oh, I'm gonna get this done tomorrow, God willing, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna this, I'm gonna this, I'm gonna focus on what I need to get done. I have a plan, a vision for my next day. And when you do this, you're gonna naturally wake up with more of a understanding of what to do. And something that's helped me is when you wake up in the morning, knowing you have to get done and you don't use your phone. Using your phone in the morning will slow down all that drive, that technology, that screen in your face, it's not gonna help you. Yeah, and yeah, I do it too. I open, I see my email, I'm like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. Yes, but try to know what you're gonna do afterwards, right? Have a plan, prepare the night before. And they always say that preparation allows for success. And a lot of the times, you have to have a reason, right? A why. And a lot of times in life, we tend to lack purpose. We lose sight of ourselves. We don't have a sense of purpose, a drive. And you have to make sure that you wake up with that why. What is your why? What is the reason you wake up in the morning? Some people wake up in the morning, they know they got to get going because they got to support a family. They got to get going because they have dreams to accomplish. Have a why. When you have a why, it makes it way easier to wake up in the morning excited for the day. I always found that when I did lack focus and lack this sense of drive, it was when I was the laziest. It was when I wasn't as motivated. It was when I didn't really believe in myself. When I was dealing with so much outside exterior stressors and wasn't planning my day. So make sure that if you don't wake up excited every day, eliminate those things one by one and then see whether or not next day by next day, you're gonna start waking up a little bit more excitement. The first thing again is to have that mindset shift, is to change that positive attitude. And I'm not saying that stupid, toxic, hyper positive attitude where nothing wrong can ever happen to me, I'm super positive, but having a positive mindset so even when something goes wrong, you're twisting and you're saying, you know what, it's okay, just get through it, get through it, because it's gonna look better. If I just keep being consistent, keep staying focused, it'll get better. And understand that some days it's gonna suck, but having that why is gonna really push you to the next level. And again, millionaires and billionaires do this, but they wake up in the morning and they express gratitude. Me being Muslim, it's always told for us to wake up and pray and express gratitude to God. And again, this is an important aspect of life and it does trick your brain and elaborate into your brain where it creates new neurotransmitters and where you're expressing gratitude. You're grateful for the opportunity to do whatever it is you're doing. And it is a main important factor of waking up excited. Set those intentions, make those daily goals, visualize your success, visualize you doing the thing that needs to be done. Don't just sit there and think and think and think. Get up, get after it, do it. And again, be excited about what you're doing. And if you're not excited about things you're doing, find things, find that why. Personally, I've always found that once I had a morning routine in stone, locked in, I've been like, wait a minute, I know what I'm gonna get up and do. I don't even need the journal, I don't even need the planner, because I know it needs to get done every morning. That's gonna start the flow. And a really cool story about this is something I watched where a guy was talking about, make your bed first thing in the morning. Why? You've already completed a task of the day. And ever since high school, I've been doing this and it's helped. It automatically starts my day in where the bed is made. And then when you come home later, your bed's already made. You can get right underneath the covers right away. You don't have to make it and then hop back in the bed. So again, it starts your momentum and starting that momentum allows you to be more excited for the rest of your day. And honestly, excited when you come home. Make sure you're passionate, make sure you're focused on what you need to get done. And another thing is they always say is make sure you exercise. Cause when you exercise, you're again, starting that momentum, moving your body, that's great. Some people love morning workouts, some people like night workouts and it's a de-stressor. Whatever it is, find a way to incorporate that in your life to be more excited about when you look in the mirror, excited about when you pick up a heavy weight, having goals, aspirations, and the gym can't hurt. Make sure again, you're focusing on that personal development. Try something new, learn something, pick up a random hobby, learn one lesson of some random language that you know nothing about. Do something new, something fresh, something to keep you excited, just to switch it up on yourself. If you've never played basketball before, hey, there's a park down the street, why not go shoot some hoops a little bit? Even if it's 10 minutes, 20 minutes, do something new, engage in new activities because it'll allow yourself to be more excited about things that you are doing. Meet new people, make sure you're connecting, interacting with people, talking to random people, really smiling at everyone you see. These little tactics and habits will allow you to feel more happy 
prideful, successful with the day you're having. And again, these are really important tactics in order for you to succeed. Last but not least, make sure you do prioritize your sleep, right? If you're waking up groggy and tired, it's already gonna be so hard to wake up excited, passionate, and motivated. So make sure you get a good night's sleep, plan the day, and then get ready to attack the next day. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Please like, follow, share, subscribe. I really appreciate the love and support. It really does help the channel and it allows me to, again, be on the YouTube algorithm. And you know, YouTube likes it. So please like and comment. Thank you guys again. I do this every week. Be sure to tune into the next one. Thank you guys.